Welcome to Port St. Lucie, and this is Professor DeFerro with Lesson 8 of Chinese Taoist Poetry. And we're going to examine um, the modern influence of Taoism on Chinese society. Um, what, aspect, what aspects of Taoism does China still re, uh, retain from its ancient uh, belief systems? Well, um, basically, the uh, Chinese population is still superstitious about a lot of things that um, are part of the Taoist uh, religious ceremonies, um, especially when it comes to families and uh, feng shui and other things like that. But uh, generally speaking, um, they are not superstitious to the extent where they change their lives. Um, the the Chinese believe strongly in the Confucianist principles of uh, building a strong family unit, um, getting ahead for the children in education, and providing um, a good income for uh, the family. So um, these Confucius beliefs um, are in direct conflict with uh, Taoist beliefs. Um, Taoists didn't put much of a emphasis on money. They didn't put much of an emphasis on education. They didn't put much of an emphasis on uh, art and science. So um, there is still some residue of philosophical Taoism, however, in China. Um, the, uh, the ability to use common sense, uh, which influenced Confucianism, um, is still readily apparent in Chinese society. So that um, even though uh, many millions of Chinese don't recognize it, um, Confucianism's um, contributions of common sense originated in philosophical Taoism. So um, we have these things in modern society in China that uh, most Chinese families still revere. And that is uh, strong family units um, and uh, strong educational and monetary um, progress. Uh, these are strong Confucianist principles, and um, they have overtaken um, several, if not all, of the religious Taoist uh, goals and uh, outlooks. So until next time, uh, this is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie. Uh, wishing you all a happy and a healthy night, and take care. Bye-bye.